Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you. And today we're gonna to be making a massive lead synth with an $8 VSTI from SoundSpot. That's right. This synth right here on the screen is called Union. It's SoundSpot's first VSTI or synthesizer is only eight bucks. Uh, definitely click that link in the video description if you wanna check it out. It's massive, massive. It can, can create incredibly large sounds incredibly easily. It's, it's got quite a few unique features that I'm gonna show you right now. And I mean, it's eight bucks, so, you know, no brainer really. Uh, the the general gist of this synth is you've got two standard analog style oscillators here, shape oscillators. You've got different wave forms over here and you have four effects right here. And you combine one or both of these with these effects and then you, you generate a wavetable for the third oscillator. So let me just go ahead and do this real quick. I'm gonna take, uh, let's take an organ. Uh, let's bump up the unison over here. Let's turn on the delay, the reverb. Let's see what we got here with these chords. That's fun. But what all I need to do now is hit generate wavetable and look at it. It's created a wavetable down here for me. And if I click right here and drag up, we can cycle through it just like you can say something like serum. And we've just done this with a click of a button. So the more I manipulate these uh, every time I want to, I can just click generate wavetable and it will update down here and we can start getting some really creative sounds. Now, if I come over here to saw, let's turn these both to saw because we're gonna be creating a sort of lead synth here. Unison, let's talk about voices for a second because this can go up to 32 a piece. So 32 here, 32 here, 32 down here, and then you can go up to 32 over here. That is massive. Uh, you need to be careful. Uh, that's a lot of CPU power. The higher you go, obviously, you can see here that even the numbers are kind of warning you as you go above eight that you're getting into some, you know, kind of uh, <laughs> CPU intensive space. <laughs> but the results can't be denied. It gets really, really large. So if I turn eight here, let's turn, you know, something like five over here. Let's bump this down an octave. Let's bump this down an octave and turn up the unison here as well. We already have a massive, massive lead synth and all we did was, cre you know, essentially uh, add some voices to some saw waves here and use this third oscillator down here. Now, if we wanted to, we can kind of solo this third oscillator for a second. Turn it up. Jump in here and we can start to create or sculpt the sound with the ADSR envelope here. If we want to make it a little bit more plucky, something like this. And we can also, you know, modulate the cutoff frequency position with the mod ADSR. If you just click these buttons, it will route to the modulation ADSR, which is purple. If you click again, it's going to be the LFO right here. So I'm going to click it one more time, go to the mod, uh, mod ADSR, and there we go. We got a nice little plucky part for our synth. And if we come over here, we can actually modulate the wavetable position as well. Click of a button, click it once. Choose how far along it goes over that period of time. Choose the position. And you can actually even uh, unlink these so you can change the position uh, differently. All right, get really, really creative there. All of these are modulatable. You've got your resonance, phase, detuning, blending, mid-side, panning, and level as well. I'm not. I'm gonna leave those alone. I think I'm pretty much good to go here. Uh, if you click any of these effects, you can open up the actual parameters. So maybe we wanna turn up the delay here and turn those back on so we can actually hear it. And I mean, that's 
already massive, but we can go further because we've got all of these effects down here at the bottom of the synth. And SoundSpot is known for making effects processors, and they've taken some of their best algorithms from some of their best effects and implemented them here inside of the synthesizer. So you can see here we've got quite a few to choose from. We've got chorus, distortion, delay, reverb, dynamics, equalizer, phaser, flanger, and a filter. And you can change the processing chain order by just clicking and dragging right down here. If you Again, turn them on and then click it. You can see the parameters and these are all routable to one of four different LFOs. As I'm clicking through here, you can see the numbers. So if I take this to one. So to see those LFOs, you come over here and you can see the four different LFOs right here and you can change how uh, their shapes, obviously. And right now it's just going to be cycling through continuously, but if I click right here, it'll be a re-trigger. And let's come in and... So you've got your different filter types. And let's come over here and just add a little bit more reverb and take that and put it right on the tail end. You can see each one of these effects has its own set of parameters as you click on it. Let's go Hall, turn up the mix, turn down the dampening. And you can always roll back on the master game. We're kind of clipping here. But those are some pretty massive leads. And if I jump in here to the preset browser, you can see here it comes with bass, drums, effects, leads, pads, percussion, plucks, and transitions. A lot of these transitions use the pitch bend is automatable inside of the plugin and inside of your DAW. Uh, so as I move this, so you can imagine if you're holding a sustain note and you just kind of slowly ramp that up over with automation over time, you can get some really nice uh, buildups or downshifters in that regard. Again, the synth is eight bucks and I just wanted to share it with you. Anyway, Union is available now. I'm gonna leave a link in the video description if you wanna check it out. I'm Joshua Casper and I'll see you in the next video.